The discussion about the recent layoffs and the ramifications of those layoffs at 343 continues with some new revelations about some information from credible leakers and insiders about what's going to happen with the future of Halo. And Joseph Staten gives his first statement since the news dropped. So if you like these news videos, make sure to tap that like button and let's get right into those details. So with the recent layoff news, a lot of people discussing what's going to happen with Halo. People have been writing their thoughts, even saying like, hey, what if id Software made a Halo game? Like, yeah, no one, that's not happening. Why are you even talking about that? People saying that Halo is now completely dead and gone and everything is totally fine and going according to plan. And well, we're not getting any official news from Microsoft for 343, so we kind of have to do some digging and that's what I did for you guys in this video. With this recent news from Jason Schreier on Reset Era, talking about how he actually ran some of the bullet points from people that work at 343 and saying that 343 is focused on the multiplayer and most of the staff and the stuff about the campaign DLC being scrapped is actually false. And saying most of the stuff you've heard about the campaign team what's happening with Halo is either false or or just speculation. And you're thinking like, well, yeah, they were focused on the live service of Halo Infinite. They had to cut couch co-op because of that, but they were still planning to work on campaign DLC. Well, yes and no, according to some other information. Jess Gordon, who we've cited multiple times on the channel here, a very credible insider, says that from what I've heard via multiple sources, Halo Infinite's campaign DLC never existed beyond conversations. Focus has been entirely on live service, which now looking back at the September dev update that we got from 343 that this video, they said they're focusing on the live service of Halo Infinite, but I think we always just kind of had the impression that like, yeah, campaign was something that was kind of ruin in the background kind of thing, something that eventually happened because if you go on Halo Infinite's website, actually a funny thing I just noticed now that they actually updated the website where it used to have a tile here saying campaigns and well, that's now completely removed from the website. So to me, I think that really puts the nail in the coffin for any form of campaign DLC happening with Halo Infinite, which is sad because I thought Halo Infinite's campaign was actually really good. I think the open world format that they had for it fits Halo so well with all the sandbox items that you have that you can just kind of utilize at your own will. Man, that hits so hard just because the campaign had so much potential with this game. You also have to think about this, that 343 barely got Halo Infinite over the finish line. So my assumption is that they were completely exhausted by the time the game released and didn't really have anything backed up, at least a little bit for multiplayer, but the campaign, like that was everything that they had a chance to work on to release by 2021. So I can imagine taking about an extra two or three years to put together a full campaign, but for how much of a mess 343's development was for Halo Infinite, I couldn't imagine there really being much of a plan beyond launch. And think about this as well, that when you have multiplayer, which has the store that has, you know, items that people will pick up a lot quite often, every week even, that's a lot of money being brought into Halo Infinite. I'm assuming it's probably keeping the lights on over there. It has to be because that's the only source of revenue really. Where if you charge people, say $60 for another full-fledged campaign, well, that's a one-time purchase every three years where you could definitely get people paying more than 60 bucks every year when it comes to Halo Infinite through the shop. And with the economic downturn, a bunch of layoffs as we just talked about earlier, that 343 and Microsoft are much more focused on what's bringing in the money rather than, oh, that we would love to do that. So I've been saying this on the channel that a brand new campaign or a crazy new mode would be the two things that would really bring people back to Halo. But now, Campaign DLC seems to be, well, not in the picture at all anymore, at least in the foreseeable future. So that leaves up to the multiplayer side of things to be carried on. And what's going to be the big thing that's going to carry Halo Infinite? Probably Tatanka. And while Certain Infinity actually just tweeted this out earlier saying they're hiring, looking for artists, engineers, production people. And I did look through most of the job listings on here and nothing really too specific when it comes to anything Halo related. A lot of the job descriptions in this we're pretty vague and being like you need this experience with like unreal 4 proprietary engines or having like experience with npcs and things like that which there are making their own game on top of that so it wouldn't make sense to really kind of delve any kind of conclusions from this uh job descriptions but hey 343 just lost a lot of really talented people maybe they can hop over to certain infinity and rather credible insider bathrobe spartan recently put together a whole thread of different information about what he's learned about the inside going on with 343 and i got a few bullet points for you to bring on this one here Bathrobe Spartan's reporting saying that 343 lost one third of its workforce, including most of the campaign team, which we seems to cooperate with that quite well. All campaign DLC slash work at 343 has been halted. We talked about that earlier. External studios will now create Halo campaigns. 343 will now manage external slash multiple studios to create Halo games. And the plans for 2023 have been unchanged. And like I said at the top of this video, that Joseph Zane actually made his first statement since the news dropped. Now it's nothing anything to game breaking 
crazy kind of stuff, but it's just something to at least know that he acknowledges a lot of the stuff that's happening. Saying, hey folks, right now I'm 100% focused on helping people who lost their jobs find great new ones. The outpouring of support from other studios has been amazing. Please keep it coming. If you'd like a reference for someone you're considering, my DMs are open. Which is really just kind of a nice way of saying no comment. Now it would make sense to continue creating Halo campaigns and it seems like 343 isn't going to be the team to do that. But I think right now 343 and Microsoft are just trying to figure out what the long-term future is of this. They just know right now that campaign isn't in the cards for 343 at the moment. So it would make sense for other studios to make that type of content, but I don't think Microsoft or 343 have anything lined up. I've heard rumors that season four has been cut from Halo Infinite. I can basically confirm that, yeah, that's not happening just because you just look at what the roadmap for Halo kind of looks like. And I'm sure 343 and Microsoft already budgeted the whole year of 2023 in order for this fiscal year. So I would say it could be very interesting to see what's gonna happen with Halo Infinite past June of 2024, as that's when the fiscal year rollover happens for Microsoft. That's when you see a lot of changes when it comes to different games and management and things like that. That's so far down the line that I don't even think high up management even really knows what's happening with that point. But like I said in the previous video, I think right now that front end for us players, it's gonna be kind of business as usual, but maybe on the higher up back end kind of thing, it might be kind of a big conversation about what's happening with the long-term future of Halo. Of course, once we get that information or know anything about it, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel here.